A key concept in this course will be life cycle. So these are the different life cycle stages. Material extraction, material processing, manufacturing use, and we'll call it waste management. Ideally, we'll, we'll talk about ways of, we're not talking about end of life, but rather closing loops. Why is life cycle thinking going to be absolutely essential to a, a green chemistry discussion, a sustainability discussion? Let's go through it. Uh, so, <clears throat> oh. when we look at the origins of our feedstocks, it would be very possible to produce a product that is non-toxic, effective, performs great. You know, a little kid could chew on it, no problem. But yeah, do it in a way that results in dramatic ecological damage. But you might say that that's a, that's a, a rarity, right? No, that's pretty much the, the, the rule of the road. What did we say about the amount of, uh, uh, of waste generated per, uh, per pound of product for manufacturing generally? Yeah. So we're talking about 90% of all of the material that goes into manufacturing winds up uh, immediately as waste. And it's the character, not the amount. The character, the nature, the inherent nature of those materials that is crucially important. Is it depleting? Is it renewable? Is it inherently toxic? All right, so we know what manufacturing is. It's a conversion of raw materials into products. Let's look at the design and the production of goods. And manufacturing needs to add value in order for it to be uh, really considered manufacturing, other than, although there are a lot of businesses that it's very questionable. Um, so is manufacturing important? These are the different industry sectors, and this is a billion tons of waste, um, waste generated. Manufacturing wastes are significant, to say the least. When you take a look at the annual waste generated, this is uh, EU data. Uh, uh, manufacturing wastes are, are significant, but these other uh, areas. Now, a quick aside, energy production, very little waste, 1%. What does that mean? It means, and we'll talk about this, that the petrochemical industry is one of the most materially efficient industries that the world has ever seen. Almost miraculous. If you only got a 99% efficiency from any of the petrochemical processes, You'd be fired, you'd be shut down, you'd be out of business. The degree to which they are so uh, excellent at efficiency, you should say, oh, well, good, then, that, then that's perfect. That's why we talk about life cycle, because it's not all about efficiency. It's not all about one life cycle stage. Okay, what about the use phase? You say, oh, I, I made a a washing machine, and I made it from a, from a new bio-renewable re resin, and, I, and I'm going to recycle the whole thing. Where's the impact? Where's the environmental impact uh, of, a, of a washing machine? It's in the use phase. The energy consumed in the use, and the water consumed in the use, et cetera, et cetera. Um, what about, um, is use important? Think about those products where their use is of necessity, dissipative. Remember our laws of thermodynamics. Chlorofluorocarbons, whether it's in sprays or, or, or whatever it is, propellants, these will wind up in the ozone layer. Solvents, a wide range of solvents, uh, are amongst the highest uh, emissions, air emission uh, chemicals known. Coolants, pesticides and fertilizers necessarily have to be distributed in the environment to function. It's why they wind up in our groundwater. It's why they wind up in our drinking water. Okay, is end of life important? Yeah, kind of speaks for itself, I guess. Yeah, that's the base camp at the Himalayas. Anybody want to go for a trek? Okay. So we need to have life cycle thinking. This is not a life cycle analysis class. We're not going to do 
uh, rigorous life cycle analysis, rigorous, rigorous life cycle assessment. However, if we don't think across life cycle, then we will do uh, exactly the wrong things by shifting uh, the problem from one life cycle, life cycle stage to another. And you are going to find that that is so often the essence of greenwashing.